Hi, I'm a 30 year old woman who no longer lives at home. And recently my mum told me that a package had arrived for me. So my first question was, well, what is it? And as she took it upon herself to send me an unboxing, I thought, this really isn't looking good, is it? Look, a box full of vibrators. Oh, we ain't saying nothing today? I ain't got nothing to say. <laughs> that way. What does a man gotta do to take you home the first night? Buy me drinks. You gotta spend some money. What's the amount? 10,000 maybe. As long as you got like 3,000 in your pocket. We cool. we cool. How many guys has a girl your age slept with usually? Like, not you, but just in general. Yeah. Around 15. Oh my god. Oh. Are you 21 oh. yet? Uh, no, next month, yeah. So she's not even 21 yet, guys. But girls your age, it's like 15 to 20. Yeah, plus. It's even crazy. more than and that. And how many, how many did, were they in relationships with? Done. It's mainly situationships now, mm -hmm. so, you know. Shout out um, to feminism. If you're not going to cook and clean for the n why should he marry you? You are settling. Y'all don't have no standards. Y'all are marrying. Y'all are marrying women who don't have the qualities that y'all want, thinking that the ring is going to change it. It's not the same way a woman will marry a that cheats. Girl, he was fucking other bitches before you. The ring is not going to make him be faithful. Right. Exactly. Ask the ladies to rate themselves on a scale of one to ten. I'd say I'm a ten. Ten. Duh. Ten. 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 <clears throat> Send the asteroid. Y'all are come on. Tens. Absolutely. What would you rate yourself, Brian? Six. Six point five on a good day. Hubris, like delusional to rate yourself as a ten. Wow. So y'all are perfect. Yep. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Bruv, come on. If you guys are tens, then there's no girl that's better looking than you. I love all women. Every girl is a ten. <laughs> I don't. Every, woman every is woman's a ten. a ten. Is every guy a ten? No, absolutely not. Hold up. Whoa. <laughs> every woman's a ten, but not every guy's a ten. It's just because I love women. I'm gonna be honest. I'm not gonna rate you guys, but none of you are a ten. <laughs> you just rated us. No, I'm, I'm not gonna give not you, but none of you are tens. That's, that's fine. fine. Yeah, we that's didn't your ask. <laughs> Is a man sleeping with a hundred women the same thing as a woman sleeping with a hundred men? Yes. Why? Um, because it doesn't fucking matter what gender you are. You sleep with the same amount of fucking people. You don't think there's a difference because... No. no. But men and women are different. They're not the same. Yes, they are. How are we the same? Because we have fucking equal rights as men. You have the same fucking rights as women. So women aren't oppressed in the West. Well, they are, but they shouldn't be. How? <laughs> because as a woman, I should be able to do whatever the fuck I want, just like men. I should be able to work the same amount. I should be able to get paid the same amount. I should be able to do just the same amount as men do as women do. But you, I, but you do that already. No, we don't. You don't? No, because if you get a job, stay in the oil field, you'll probably get paid more as a woman doing the same thing in the oil field as a man. What job have you done where a guy has the same position, but he's paid more because he's a guy? Well, I work at a bar. I'm 22. I work at a bar and we split tips so we get paid the same exact amount as a guy bartender i absolutely hate the way that this generation has normalized having a high body count and being ran through and in the same token found a way to demonize people who actually speak up and say no these things are not normal and it's not okay to be ran through it's not okay to have a high ass body count you are not childish if you sit here and you agree with me we are not childish because having a high body count, allowing yourself to be ran through is one of the most devaluing things that you can do to yourself. It tells me that you have no self-respect. You have no control over your sexual impulses. You have very little discipline. You have very little critical thinking skills. If you can sit here and you can lay your ass down with anything, I do not want you as a partner. It matters. It 100% matters where you have been who you have laid your head down with. I'm sitting here with just this horrible realization. I've been divorced for three years, and in that three years, I have spent 
most of my days figuring out how I can become physically, mentally, financially, spiritually healthy enough to be able to afford and take care of a child. And not only have I taken that time, but I've done the math, and it it does not work out. I am not young enough, or fertile enough, or financially stable enough. to even do another round of IVF and at 36 like I'm sorry like you're gonna say like you have time like I don't because I can't spend another minute of my life trying to make something work When I'm just fighting upstream. I don't have a support system. I don't have the money. I don't have the resources or the community. And it just kills me. It kills me that I had embryos with my ex-husband that were viable. And they're just gone now. And my future... My future with those children and my life as a mother is just, it's gone. And it's not just that it's gone, it's the fact that it was decided for me by so many other people and factors. And that's what kills me. Because it was not my choice. And I'm angry. And I'm heartbroken. 